Hi, welcome to Avocet Math. In this video, we're going to look at a common counting problem pattern in the AMC and AIM called the ball and urn problem. Now, that's the most common name that you can Google, but it's sometimes called the vending machine problem or the integer partition problem. In fact, it shows up in many different problem forms, so it has a lot of names. But all these problems boil down to an equivalent integer equation problem, which I show here for the case of four variables a through d. Now the basic problem statement is to find the number of ways to sum these four integer variables to add up to some constant n. Now if we consider all integers, both positive and negative, it's pretty easy to see that we'll have an infinite number of solutions. But if we restrict ourselves to non-negative integers, then things get more interesting. And two cases that are most common in the AMC and AIM are the cases of uh, integers restricted to greater than or equal to 1 and integers restricted to greater than or equal to 0. So let's analyze these two cases side by side. Now in the case of z greater than or equal to 1, the best counting tool is to consider a line of n objects. So we have n objects in a row and we notice that these n objects form n minus 1 slots between them. And so our task now is to find how many different ways can we arrange three partitions among the n minus 1 slots to form four piles, A, B, C, and D. The first pile will count the number of objects to correspond to the variable A. The number of objects in the second pile will correspond to the variable B. The number of objects in the third pile will correspond to the variable c, and the number of objects in the fourth pile will correspond to the variable d. So now it looks like we have a pretty simple counting problem. We have n minus 1 slots, we have three partitions, which we have to choose the locations within the n minus 1 slots. And uh, most will recognize this as a pretty simple combination expression. C n minus 1 chosen 3 at a time. And if you want to expand that out, I think that works out to n minus 1 factorial, 3 factorial, n minus 4 factorial. But that's not important for our discussion. Now let's consider the case of uh, z greater than or equal to 0. Now the best counting tool for this case is to consider what I call light markers and dark markers. So we create a line of markers, both light ones and dark ones. And we consider the case where we have n light markers and three dark markers. So in total we have n plus three markers. And now our task is to find how we can locate the three dark markers among the n plus three possible locations. So here again this kind of works out to a pretty simple combination statement. We have n plus three locations for all markers and we have three dark markers. And here again, this defines four piles, A, B, C, and D, that we correspond to the uh, variable values for A, B, C, and D in the equation. But we notice that when we use the dark markers, what happens now that's a little different from the first case is that we can have two dark markers next to one another. So in the case where the first dark marker is up against the second dark marker, that would create a space of zero, which would correspond to a B variable value of zero. And that's what makes the marker uh, counting tool a little bit different than the partition counting tool. So continuing, we have n plus 3 locations, we have three dark markers to choose among the three, the n plus 3 locations, and again that works out to a pretty simple combination statement, c n plus 3 selected three at a time. So those are the two basic forms that appear often on the AMC and AIM, and now let's consider a few variations of this. 
So in one variation, let's consider the first case where most of the variables, say a, b, and c, are restricted to z greater than or equal to 1. But now let's allow the variable d to take on the uh, value of 0 and see how that changes the problem. So we'll notice that this last pile here can actually take on the value of 0 in this case. So in effect, this last partition can actually go out to this extra slot. Not really a slot, it's sort of the end. So instead of having n minus 1 slots to choose from for the, for the uh, three partitions, we'll now have n slots to choose the three partitions. And so now this transforms to the combination expression cn taken three at a time. And this uh, expression actually showed up in the uh, 2016 AMC 10A, and I'll give you a link for that in, in the description section. Now as one last uh, modification, let's consider the case where we have integers constrained to greater than or equal to 2, and see how that works out. Now it's hard to come up with a good picture to describe this. Uh, some people have done it, but I don't think they're very helpful. But what we do notice is that we see a pattern and when we go from z greater than or equal to 0 to z greater than or equal to 1. We notice that the bottom number in the combination is the same. It's 3 in both cases. But the top number goes from n plus 3 to n minus 1. So there's a delta of 4 in the top number, which corresponds to the number of variables. So it's pretty easy to see now that we go to z greater than or equal to 2, the likely expression is c, now n minus 5, taken 3 at a time. And that's in fact the correct expression, so your intuition is correct here. Now those are the basic uh, patterns that I like to try to keep in my head. Uh, and I find that these pictures are really, really helpful to keep this all straight. So I encourage you to look at these pictures and see if you can understand them and uh, keep them with your understanding. Now one other thing we notice is that the underlying mathematics for all this is really quite simple if you understand basic combinations. The real difficulty in the AMC and the AIM is recognizing this pattern uh, for a given counting problem and applying these tools correctly. To do that, you'll need to practice this counting tool on a few AMC problems, so check out the description section for several example problems to try that out. So good luck with that, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.